congratulations again to Mrs. Benamini, Mr. Munez, and Mr. Darrow. At this time, I'm going to hand over the meeting to our, our board attorney, Mr. Jonathan Bush, uh, to do the nominations for board president. I'm going to walk around and hand everybody a slip of paper for their nomination. This thing on? All right, it's working. Good evening, everyone. We're going to do entertain uh, nominations for the office of president of the Belleville Board of Education. Do I have any nominations? I'd like to nominate Louis Munez for president of the Board of Education. Okay, it's been a nomination. We don't require a second, but is there a second? There's no second required for uh, officer nominations. Any other nominations for the Office of President? Yes. Yes? Uh, Mr. Bush, yes. Yes. Okay. I would like to nominate um, Frank Velez. I think it's time that our community gives the voice to the children. He was a prior student here in our school district. And I think that we need to practice what we preach where we have had our prior office, uh, our prior trustees up here already hold office. And now it's time to give our students that voice. Since we've always been worried about our students, since we always talk about the well-being of our students, I nominate Mr. Velez for that reason. Okay, we've got a nomination for Frank Velez. Is there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations for the Office of President? Being seen none, is there a motion to close nominations for the Office of President? Motion. motion. There's been a motion. Second. So second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, so we have two people who've been nominated for the Office of President. We've got Luis Muniz and we've got Frank Velez. So, the law requires that every Board of Education member cast their vote for one person or another. Uh, and as opposed to doing it where we uh, do a roll call with one name or the other to preserve the sanctity of the vote and to ensure that everybody's vote is truly their own, we're gonna have a ballot that's passed out. Uh, the ballot has, does it have their names? Everybody has a name on their ballot. And if you could just list your choice for the office, And Mr. Palladino will, will come along and, uh, and, and collect your, your paper, your, your ballot. And we'll follow the same procedure for the Office of Vice President. Mr. Baldino will read the results. All right. Mr. Munez votes for Mr. Munez. Mr. Darrow votes for Mr. Munez. Ms. Dadis votes for Mr. Munez. Ms. Jacko votes for Mr. Velez. Ms. Bennett Meany votes for Mr. Munez. And 
Mr. Velez, who are you voting for? Mr. Velez is voting for Mr. Velez. And Ms. Williams is voting for Mr. Velez. With a vote of one, two, four, four for Mr. Munoz, three for Mr. Velez. Mr. Munoz, uh, board president. Congratulations. Thank you very much uh, for this honor. Um, I would like to open nominations for vice president, please. I nominate Gabrielle Bennett Mee. Are there any other nominations? Yes. Okay. I nominate Frank Velez for vice president. Are there any other nominations? Out of unity for the board, I think it's best that we keep it unanimous. So I decline the nomination and wish Ms. Bennett Mee luck. Are there any other nominations? Okay, in the interest of uh, the second nomination and uh, it, um, even though it was declined, I, I'd like everybody to uh, hand in their uh, papers, please, their ballots. Okay, so President Munez voted for Mrs. Bennett Meany. Mrs. Bennett Meany voted for Mrs. Bennett Meany. Uh, Mrs. Dadis voted for Mrs. Bennett Meany. Mr. Darrow voted for Mrs. Bennett Meany. Mr. Velez voted for Mrs. Bennett Meany. Mrs. Williams voted for Mrs. Bennett Meany. Congratulations, Madam Vice President. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Um, Mr. Paolino, um, please uh, call the roll. All right, sure. Trustee Dadis. Here. Trustee Darrow. Here. Trustee Jacko. Here. Trustee Velez. Here. Trustee Williams. Here. Vice President Benamini. Here. President Munez. Here.
We're gonna go ahead and move on to items um, presented by administration, Dr. Tomko. Yes, uh, nothing, uh, congratulations uh, to, the, to, to the, uh, the new trustees or the returning trustees. Uh, the administration um, looks forward to working with this board to continue the progress that we've made. Uh, we have a lot of projects, we have a lot of academic um, up, up and coming programs. So uh, we are very excited to get started. And uh, again, progress, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tomko. Uh, we have a report um, from State Monitor, um, Mr. Paolino. Uh, Mr. Egan wishes everybody a happy new year. Uh, he's watching the meeting live tonight. Uh, congratulates the new board, uh, welcomes Mr. Darrow, and uh, looks forward to working with everybody in the 2023 school year. I'd like to make note, uh, the next portion of this process um, allows for remarks uh, by citizens. Um, there is, uh, no one signed up to, to speak, uh, therefore we're gonna move on to um, board action and board policy. Can I have a motion on board action, board policy? Motion. And a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Mr. Paulino, please call the roll. Sure, Trustee Dadis. Yes. Trustee Darrow. Yes. Trustee Jacko. Um, yes to all, but I take no part um, in 8.2. Trustee Velez. Yes. Trustee Williams. Yes. Vice President Benamini. Yes. President Munoz. Yes, thank you. Um, see no information on resolutions for purchasing and business service as well as finance. Well, um, and once again, uh, this portion allows for us to open a public participation. Um, there being no, uh, no uh, public participation, uh, can I have a motion uh, to adjourn? I'm sorry? Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, so uh, I apologize. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it to each trustee so that way they can have uh, commenting. Um, Mr. Mr. Dear, would you like to go first? Sure, thank you. I just have a question on the dates and I noticed that there was one date June 19th that, can, that conflicts with uh, Juneteenth, national holiday I believe. I'm not sure if that creates an issue or not by having a meeting on that date. So we're gonna go ahead and look into that date just to verify whether we're off on that specific date or not and, and if on, on the Friday before, correct? Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and just verify that before we, we approve any changes on that. Just like usual, the board mod can modify a uh, annual meeting schedule uh, throughout the year as this board has. For example, there could be something that comes up in the, in the district that they make just like the one you suggested that the board decides it'll change the date. So you guys can, as you move along, this is a general guideline, but boards sometimes change things around as things go throughout the year. Thank you, appreciate it. Sure, I'd also like to take this opportunity to uh, thank you, the voters uh, that put me in this position. Uh, it's, a, it's a heavy position, obviously, it was very responsible for 
a lot of the things in this town. Uh, we represent the taxpayers, the administrators, the school teachers, uh, the parents, of course, important, and the students over and above all. There's just a lot of responsibility and a lot of weight that we, that we do carry as a board. So I am looking forward to making decisions and helping, working with my fellow board members. I know a lot of them up here already. Some of them I have a chance to meet and spend more time with. Uh, but I am looking forward to it, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we be able to speed forth forward and uh, make some good choices for, this, for, for the township as well as for the students, obviously, which is our, the key factor that we're here for. Thank you. Trustee Dattis. Hello, everyone. Uh, Happy New Year, first. Um, Mike Darrow, congratulations. I'm very excited to work with you. Um, I want to go into something that happened at the last meeting. Um, while I'm extremely disappointed in the fact that the state monitor overturned our last vote about school one, I can't, I won't let that deter my future judgment in any voting that I see fit. I will always feel, I, was, I will always vote for what I feel is in the best interest of our community, which is why I voted for President Muniz and Vice President Gabby Meany. Under their leadership, we will continue to move forward. I've seen the progress, and I think they are doing really good at leading, so um, that's why I voted the way I did, so I just wanted to explain that to everybody. And um, that's it, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Dattis. Ms. Jocko. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to take the time to congratulate um, Mr. Darrow. In the past, I worked with him in capacity of the HSA here at the high school, and I look forward to working with him and obviously the rest of the board. Um, with that said, I have a couple of comments myself. Um, I think I, ne I need to speak the truth and uh, speak about the uh, past meeting. The Belleville community voted for me in November 2017 and November 2020. And my mission and only agenda item was to serve the children and our school district. Fast forward to December 19, 2022, the Board of Education had an agenda item listed as 10.30 regarding the alleged sale of the school one property. I want to stop and clarify that this alleged sale occurred in 2011 under the leadership of, past, of the past Board of Education. Uh, the trustees up here had nothing to do with it. Please note four of the six council people that are still in power now were part of that sale transaction back then. Now that I gave you some history of this alleged sale, which by the way is noted by our superintendent, Dr. Tomko, to my, uh, to the, to my right after Mr. Palladino, um, as one of the worst decisions in Belleville history, and our state monitor, Mr. Egan, also stated the same. I want to stop again and give some additional history. Mr. Egan, the state monitor, was previously put in place in 2014 um, to monitor the Belva Board of Education. Now, back to December 19's meeting. The trustees voted four to three in favor of not editing the deed for the alleged sale uh, that transpired in 2011 for the school one property. A few days later, Mr. Egan overturned that decision, overturned that vote, and put a stop to democracy. Personally, I have been a Board of Education trustee for five years, longer than any trustee up here, and want to report that I have not seen Mr. Egan in person since February 2020. I think it's important to let the community know what's going on. I think it's important that the community is aware of what's going on. I see that Mr. Muniz and Ms. Bennett Meany are in our president and vice president again. I've worked with them in our capacity and other capacities. 
Now, with that said, I implore that when we, in fact, say shared services in the future, it's shared services. It's not unnecessary spending. Um, I hope that also when we see change orders in place for any construction done in our school property, that they are double looked and triple looked because these are tax dollars. And if in fact we can use them for other things instead of unnecessary things, I please ask and implore the two of you to make sure that that happens. I really honestly feel that I am a one voice and I don't want to appear to the community that I'm not united. I'm simply speaking my mind. I am living in Belva for over 32 years. I'm a mom, I own a home, I'm a taxpayer just like the rest of you. And I think that if I sit up here and say nothing, I have done a disservice to you. So that's why I speak and that's why I state what I state. I look forward to your leadership because I support everyone. But the problem is that I also think that certain things need to be done. And if we, if we don't have a voice, they're not getting done. So uh, when we see that 4-3 vote, it's obvious the board wasn't being represented. So I hope that Mr. Egan comes to the next meeting. I would like to have uh, a request that he attends our meetings, just like anybody else here in our school district that is working, gets paid when they're working, when they're here, when they're present. And like I stated, I have not seen him since February 2020. That is a very long time. And I look forward to progress, always, for the sake of our children, for the sake of our community, and let's do real progress. Thank you. Yeah, through the, through the chair, my apologies, but I, I just need to clarify a statement that Ms. Jocko just made. I've never done this during a reorg. It's supposed to be an exciting night, and, and it is. But Mr. Egan has been here almost every day that he's uh, been a monitor. I, don't, I just want to make sure we clarify that statement. He's, he, he, he's, uh, his decision to monitor the meetings at home is, uh, I think, is a great service to the board that we can um, govern ourselves here without uh, somebody watching over us on this dais. But just to be very clear, he is... He is in the office uh, almost every day, I would think, and probably bothering Mr. Paladino more than uh, he wishes. So just wanted to clarify that, so thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tompo. Uh, Trustee Velez. I'd like to start off by wishing everybody a happy new year. Um, first off, I want to congratulate uh, Mr. Darrow, Ms. Bennett Meany, and Mr. Meese on winning re-election and being seated here today. Uh, running is not easy, uh, getting on the board is not easy, and it's really a privilege uh, to serve the community in what we do on the Board of Education. Uh, I also want to deeply appreciate um, Trustee Jacko for the nomination. That was an interesting surprise. Um, being that we ran against each other, it really is something sincere that people could in elections be political adversaries, but once they do something they believe in, which is service to the community, they can, be, they can become friends. And I really appreciate that. And I wanna wish uh, Mr. Muniz and Ms. Benetmini well. I know they're gonna do a great job in leading the board. They've already done it. And I just wanna say, looking forward to 2023, I think it's gonna be a great year. I look so forward to all the new things in the pipeline. It's truly gonna be a transformative year as it's been my last two years on this board. I'm so happy that you know, within my third year of my term that we've done such amazing things with such amazing people who I see here in the audience, uh, some former trustees, and I really deeply appreciate them for their service as well. So thank you all so much and have a great night. Thank you.
Thank you, Trustee Velez. Uh, Trustee Williams. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'd like to congratulate our new trustee, um, Trustee Darrow. I'm definitely looking forward to working with you in this upcoming year. Um, another congratulations to President Muniz and Vice President Bennett Meany. As always, I will continue to support you both and work with you to do what's in the best interest for our students and staff here in Belleville. And just lastly, to all of the trustees and all of the dignitaries here that sit on the dais and also all of you who sit out there, um, I'm just looking forward for us to work together to make sure that everyone's voice is heard. Um, everyone is given a chance to speak. We are all respected. And although we may not always agree on everything or see things differently, um, let's just continue to respect each other enough to work in solidarity as a unit to support each other in our district. Have a happy and blessed new year and God bless. Thank you, Trustee uh, Williams. I'd like to give uh, Jody um, Velez uh, an opportunity to speak. Hello, this isn't working? Okay, good. Um, hi everyone, my name is Jody Velez and happy new year, it's 2023. This is such an exciting year. I can't wait, not because of graduation, but I think that there's a lot of great things going to happen for the students, for staff, for the people in the Board, Ju Board of Education. So I just wanna manifest all of that for everyone to have an amazing 2023, start of 2023. Um, and new faces in the crowd today, just wanted to introduce myself as Jody Velez. I'm the student board representative of Belleville. This is like a brand new thing. This has never happened before. Throughout my time being in Belleville, I've been here all my life. And this position is something that it's important, it's vital because it shows that we have the Board of, Ed board of Education and SGO joined together and decided that a student from Belleville High School, a senior, I'm a senior by the way, to sit up here with the Board of Education. Although a non-voting member, I can see that I have a voice here and I do want to use my voice for the students. It's something that I've always been passionate about for all my life. I love being involved. I love being a part of this town. I love knowing that I'm, tr I'm trying to like, you know, provide resources for our students, especially those in the high school because I can see that as the years go by, we are making progress. We have students going to amazing colleges. We have students pursuing their dreams, doing things that I have not seen in other places. And I think this is something that we should really notice more, that how hard our students are working, how much effort that they're putting into their futures. So that's something that I would love to work more on throughout the year before I end this term in June, I guess, when I graduate. So thank you very much. Ms. Jody Velez, thank you so much. Um, and like you said, your, your opinion is definitely valued here. Uh, your point of view is definitely valued here and, and we do thank you for your commitment to us as well. Vice President Bennett Meany. Thank you, President Munez. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome newcomer, Michael Darrow. Um, I've served uh, on the Holman School, the high school HSA with Mr. Darrow years ago. Uh, Mr. Darrow is a very smart, well thought out person. I'm sure he's going to be uh, very well received here on the board and have his own opinion as many of us do. Uh, my sincere thanks to my family, my friends, and all the supporters who voted for me I'm grateful that you believed in me, my experience, and my talents to represent the school district and the community. I'll always support our youth, our parents, and the school district. I think it is essential that we continue to create an atmosphere where our parents and the community can contribute to the future of our students and their education. This input leads to a better understanding of everyone's needs. I care and value Belleville's public school district and all that's been accomplished. I also care about my community, and I also think it's very important 
to have a relationship with all of my fellow board trustees and the community and even the county. I give a shout out to Commissioner Pomaris, who's here tonight. And I think this is very important to move forward and do good things and have the accomplishments that we've had so far. Um, so I'm very happy to be elected as the vice president. Thank you all very, very much. I appreciate this. Happy and healthy new year to everyone. Thank you, uh, Vice President Bennett Meany. Uh, I guess that just leaves me. Um, so, yeah, I want to start, you know, I want to thank God for this opportunity. Um, I put my, it's funny, we were having some conversations the other day, and, you know, we discussed being able to, you know, ethics being one thing that we, we focus on, and it's a, a major uh, guiding uh, resource for us, but it's also being able to morally stand by the decisions that you make and and to be able to exercise that part of who you are individually. So I want to take a moment and just, you know, really thank God for all the blessings he brings into my life. Um, I want to thank my family because uh, they stand by me through all the craziness. Um, not one trustee here uh, sitting in front of you today uh, can say that this is easy or that this doesn't, um, is, it, this doesn't consume them in one way or another. Um, so our families, Gabby's family, Mike's family, and every trustee here, our families are really a big uh, support for us uh, in us being able to do this. Um, it's not easy for anyone in a political position um, because, call it what it is, um, it, you, you were elected to be here and this is a political position um, and, and you have to represent for your community and for those uh, that, that put you here and for those that that didn't, but regardless, they're, they're a big factor of, of how you make your decisions moving forward. So, you know, with that said, you know, I, I, I do want to just um, highlight them because they're the ones that help us keep pushing forward. Every single person here, uh, as well as um, Mr. Bush, uh, Dr. Tomko, and Mr. Palvino, I know that uh, it's not easy for what, what we do, and I just want to thank everyone up here uh, for their commitment, and, um, and I hope that Moving forward, we are able to uh, lean on each other more and support each other more in our decisions and uh, be able to put things aside, so just do that. Um, one thing, Commissioner Pomaris, uh, you know, for you to come out here and, and spend your night with us, uh, uh, we're very grateful and thank you so much for your representation and everything that you do. Mayor Melham, you're all right. <laughs> you're a good man. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's very easy for me to stand here and say that um, you know, you, 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 you get a lot of the, the blows and the punches and uh, anyone in a position of leadership will, will get just that. Um, so I just want to thank you as a friend. Uh, thank you as someone who you went to work for. I mean, you're so diligent and so structured and you're, I mean, you're just relentless and I, and I thank you for every bit of your effort to get us elected. Um, I want to thank Gabby. Uh, <laughs> we get this opportunity again. Gabby's been my, my right hand up here, and um, I do uh, value uh, your input. I value uh, the conversations that we have. So I just want to thank you personally because um, my three years that I've been here and the next three years, I know we're going to have to continue to lean on each other heavily. So I, I want to thank you. Um, Mr. Darrow, congratulations again, man. This is a, a, a huge honor and a huge blessing. Um, you know, it, it's easy to get clouded by all the, I'll call it the fluff for now. <laughs> it's, it's easy to get clouded by the fluff. Reality is that um, the true work happens once we start looking at these agendas, you know, the, the, uh, um, having conversations with our administration so we can better understand um, what our, what's being presented to us. Um, I think, you know, my advice to you, like I said, you know, always, and we've had these conversations privately where I told you, you know, lead from the heart, know that you're making the best decision for where you are. Um, put our kids first in everything that we do, um, in every decision. Not every decision that we make for our kids will necessarily um, benefit the community in somehow, but it will directly benefit our kids. And, but with that said, we cannot um, forget about our community because they're the ones that choose for us to be here and make the best decision for their, their children. So, um, you know, those are, my, that's my advice to you. You know, we gotta uh, weigh them all equally, right? Um, I wanna thank my fellow uh, trustees here. Um, I'm grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for those um, that 
represented for me and, and, and voted for me into this position, your, your, um, your faith in me and your belief in me is, uh, your bel uh, is very important to me. It's something I take very serious and near and dear, and I'll make sure that you know, I can earn that. And um, with that said, I mean, um, I think we could uh, adjourn this meeting, right? All right, can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Meeting adjourned. Well, my, my apologies. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? None? All right, meeting adjourned. <laughs>